one of the many things I love in this world is British humor. I cannot get enough of it. I grew up watching Monty Python and I, whenever I'm feeling just down, I start watching a bit of Fry and Lori and Black Adder. I love those shows and there's some, it's just, it's dry, it's funny, it just hits very quickly. It's great. I love it. And along the years, I found other British shows that I love watching. I love watching the um, the variety shows that they have, like 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, um, Big Fat Quiz Show, uh, stuff like that. And um, a few years ago, I found this show. Uh, my brother had told it to me, like, earlier, but it had come back into my whole sphere. Uh, this show called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. And if you've never heard of it, I would highly recommend you search on YouTube. It is so funny. Um, it only ran for one series and had only six episodes. It was, it's a one hit wonder and um, I'm very upset that it didn't have more, but I think, I, I think it's perfect. I think it's absolutely perfect as one season and um, I want to talk about it. So this show came about in 2004 when Channel 4 was like desperate for TV shows and they would take anything and so Matthew Holness and Richard Iwade uh, came up with this premise of this guy who's a, like a Stephen King-esque uh, writer making a horribly written 80s TV show that takes place in a hospital but a lot of weird horror elements happen as well and um, it's kind of like a TV show within a TV show, and it takes place with Garth Marenghi, who's the author, and he talks about his time on Dark Place, which was the show that he created, and there's interviews going over, like, interviews, and then the interviews talking about the TV show that's showing at the same time. It's in this very campy 80s, very sexist, misogynistic, emphasis on bad writing kind of thing. I remember looking at like behind the scenes, I tried to find interviews with Matthew Holness, but after this he really, I think he somewhat retired from acting and he did just writing, but he did a interview or like a, um, a panel where he talked about this show and how he he purposely told the filmmakers to not put things in 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 frame so like instead of doing the rule like of thirds he would do like have their face down here and then have like a full like foot and a half above them or you know it would it would just not look good and so he purposely told his filmmakers to do that and they were like oh we can do that okay i think what's really great is it really brings in the comedians and the filmmakers and ones who are both camps to be able to watch this and be like oh this is so relieving to watch and so funny because these are things that i would not do at all and these are things that like i can you know it's kind of like the worst of the worst that's done on purpose and you see it and you're like, oh, somebody actually did this and you're relieved that somebody did this so you can laugh at it and show like what not to do. And throughout the show, of course, there's like wonderful moments of horrible acting and blatant mistakes with green screening and it's just, it's so funny. And there's also a lot of great um, cameos of huge comedians that are to come. And then, of course, there's that iconic moment of one of the characters randomly breaking out into song and has his own music video, and it's just... It doesn't make any sense. It's great. I love it. And in many ways, like, I wish that they had made more episodes, but I'm very glad that they only made six episodes, because it, it solidifies it into this, like, perfect cult classic that can be revisited instead of like having something that dragged on for so many seasons and just didn't do well but there's also two other like behind the behind the scenes episodes of the garth Marenghi and dean lerner and um i forget who matt berry plays like the actor that he plays who plays lucian sanchez but they're also they're like talking about different things that happened but i also love that they took dean lerner who's richard iwata's character and made him a television show that was a talk show which is also really funny so if you love that I believe Richard um, or Matthew Holness made a few cameos in that and I think he was about one of the producers behind it but really funny and I think it only went on for two series I think but these can all be found on YouTube just I highly recommend it it's so funny so yeah at the end of the day I love this series because it you know, mocks rich people, it mocks the horror authors, it mocks writers, filmmakers. If you love campy 80s mockumentary type of things, 
uh definitely give this a watch i think the episodes are like 25 to 30 minutes each or something like that yeah uh let me know if you've ever watched it like comment below what you know if you have watched it um any questions about it where can you find it i'll see if i can um find a playlist for it and i'll link it below um but yeah like this video subscribe um and I'll put my socials down in the box below, and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! You're acting like an ape! A wild ape!